<laughs> Look. Oh, I got a sneeze. Oh, I thought I had a sneeze, but I didn't have to. What is up, y'all? It's your boy Nick. Uh, yeah, man. Look. Quick trailer. Oh, I didn't even plug in my headphones. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now we're back. Now I unplugged in my headphones. Look, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I missed the direct. So, yeah. Did not know it was gonna be today. Did not know it was gonna be at uh, 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 ten minutes or ten hours or. T Look, I just woke up, bro. Look, let's just get to the trailer, bro. <laughs> I don't know what they announced. Um so uh yeah. It don't look like they announced uh no new console, so you know. If you notice there's no chat on the screen cuz I'm not live cuz I'm I'm recording this cuz I don't know what they put out. So I didn't want to waste the whole stream just watching this and it not be good. But you know, come through on the Twitch, you know. Beautiful Nick, you know what I mean? What is this? I I really don't know what I'm looking for for a Nintendo to release anyway, cause you know. Not the biggest fan of Nintendo right now after, you know, the whole debacle with, you know, certain, you know, things. Which I, I understand. Like, you know, it's a whole different topic, but, you know. It's like, if y'all don't give us a place to buy, at least buy the games, y'all can't be out here taking away games because, you, you know. You know? Especially when you don't make no money off of them. That's just it's crazy to me. But, you know, that's besides the point, though. I still love Nintendo, though. Seems like we're just getting another random the mill Mario game, I guess. Okay, let me not say random the mill, but like, I feel like Nintendo has just been making the same five, six games, bro. Is it me? I mean, yeah, you have the indie games, but like, as far as like the main Nintendo games, it's like the same five, six games. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If it's not, if it's not Mario, and it's not Mario, and then it's not Mario. Then it's like Zelda, once in a once in every you know six years, and then that's pretty much it. Mario Luigi Brothership. All right, November seventh. You know, hello everyone. I'm Sheena Tata. I guess, Hashimoto, man. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. I mean, I, get, I mean, I like the art style, but it's like, bro, like, across mysterious islands, as well as I, I, I know I get it, bro. Mario's their flagship thing, but it's like, bro. Okay. When y'all gonna realize that we kind of want some other games? <laughs> you know, that's not Mario. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, okay. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. I, I mean, I guess this is cool. Do people even the use the uh, challenge and perfect your timing? Do people then even use the whatchamacallit? And aim for the top of the, the MV. The, like the emulators on the on the Wii online like completing Super Mario I mean I still have mine go, but it's like I haven't even used any of them because I'm like stuck on a legend you know? challenge check out classified information you gotta pay that for a month is kind of crazy like why can't I just get the, the game by itself mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide after each round half of the players will be eliminated you've only got one shot to survive Will you be the last one? Standing? I will say though, there's so many games coming out. It's just kind of like World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo you know? Switch July 18th. 
Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also oh, available wow. for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to Fairy begin. Fairy Tale. What? Happy. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime Fairy Tale in this action hit RPG. Hit anime. Let me stop. Set in the vast kingdom of Fairy Pure, Tale Two. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Yeah. Ah. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful yeah. attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in Look, your body. Look, I mess with Fairy Tale, but like. It has the anime has to take down powerful. I guess I guess they're doing this because the thousand years quest is supposed to be coming out, so you know they got to get that little promo. Fairy no? Tale 2 but is on Nintendo Switch. I don't know. Uh, is it even popular in Japan? Like, I don't know. Embark on a multi dimensional journey. What is this? From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. And composer Nobuo Uematsu comes Blame. the turn based okay. RPG Fantasian. Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity. Oh man, I already, I'm already liking this. I'm not even a turn by turn turn based game gamer. But y'all know I got an affinity for the white haired characters, bro. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension. I won't be playing this game, but it looks kind of I like the art style. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go. Now. Let us save the world together. When is the last time we got a good direct? Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo I'm just trying to remember. Maybe the last time they had Smash? Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Oh, my God. Basketball? Really? Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Does anybody even play Nintendo Switch? Dribble? Sports. Pass. And shoot. Okay, a little jumper. Using motion controls. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five streak battle. My thing is like, bro, who asked Besides for this though? Local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two on two on. Who asked matches. for this though? I could just play 2K. Why the heck am I playing? <laughs> Why the heck am this I playing this? I could just Nintendo literally play Switch 2K. Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Uh, what is this? I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this because I don't know if there's anything that I personally am looking forward to this in the in the in the direct. No disrespect to these creators, but this just looks like the same games that they've been releasing. It's, it's the same three, four classic. types of games, bro. I mean, I don't know. Leap into a new a update classics. for Disney Illusion Island. Monarch's greatest detective is solving a mystery. Is that and a dolphin? And friends can help in the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch. Uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world 
Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. I guess. Hello, Island kitty. Adventures away. Oh my god. Customize your character. Uh. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure this launches little cute as a time ass game, console right? on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. All right. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more. Oh my God, man! Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. Not the Acme. But watch out for I, falling anvils. Looney Tunes. I just gotta say. I gotta say. World of sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay. What's up, Doc? That's all, folks. I'm not gonna pause. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this like it's actually live, bro. Emergency meeting. My thing is like, New crewmate and I don't like when they do these like sports games when it with the with, with IPs that are known because it's like, as a come on, man. Do we need a Warner Brothers? Suss things out when this free like sports game thing. They, the Nintendo probably got the today. most like sports related a monster army like ip games on there bro they have like the disney games this is Dog, a realm of monsters. they got the Those you know what i'm saying warner brother collection now Mania they got their own the versions the like civilization. Ten why do we need so many of these the games the i don't care to see to donald vicious reign of the underworld i don't care to see donald duck or fucking you know like bugs bunny zombie. like dunking bro or playing soccer i don't care bro like and harvest them to why make their come to life if any if if they anything is like bro like battle make like an open world rpg with these with these ip characters like come on bro we already got the fighting games like we got the sports games like do something else with it bro like you know the battle buddies in your party what is this? to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Another game. You know what? I'm not. Join the rebellion to stop the magus in the what? Oh, I thought he said the maggots. I'm like, whoa. Marvelous. Marvelous. How about y'all update No More Heroes 2, bruh? On the switch to make it look better. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally okay. released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The I mean, actually, that's kind of that's not that bad. The local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horse. I still have not played Donkey Kong Country. I mean, to be fair, it came out before I was alive, but you know. Obstacles in the way? Just stop them. I would love to play this. Actually, I, I'm not. I'm not mad at this. And roll on through. I am a sucker for like level is filled the, with I guess the uh, I'm gonna sound like one of those uh, what, what do y'all call them hippies whatever like manic mine carts. I am a sucker for the aesthetics of the old like old games I like to play the games at its original state but you know now I gotta now I, I might I mean you know to be fair after the recent stuff you know might not be able to do that to a buddy for two <laughs> so i might have to end up getting it getting the hd remakes 80 appealing levels are in store including the additional levels from the nintendo 3ds version donkey kong country returns hd swings onto the nintendo switch it better be january 16th i mean Wait, why I say Nintendo system? Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's Jungle Escapades returns in HD. It didn't say the Switch, it just said Nintendo system. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with So I'm assuming cars. they did not announce no Switch Next, Switch 2. Take a look at this. I'm guessing that's going to be another direct, I guess. The time is nigh. Rise, Phoenix.
Dragon Quest 3 HD remake. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. I think I'm gonna just have to start playing these games that Nintendo be pushing, cause like I swear, like memorable <laughs> encounters. I swear, like the games I want is like, bro. Challenges. They don't even get it mentioned, but all these games that and you know, I know, I know it's popular in Japan, so I'm not hate, but. I know an a silly American. RPG he doesn't know about Dragon Quest. HD yeah, 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 whatever. But I'm just like, damn, bro. It's like y'all out here making remakes and HD remakes of remasters of games. And it's like, the legacy you know, begins. like, who is this for? Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. Maybe I just need to just like, I don't know. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Maybe I just need to find it and find it. Just be like, you know what? Just play the games, Nick, man. Hello? I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm not seeing anybody being excited for any of these. Nintendo Direct Dragon Quest I'm not hating on any of this. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, I want to get excited too. Quest One and Two も HD Two D で読み上げることが決定しました。時系列としては、スリーが物語の始めるとなっており、3、2、1の順番でプレイしてもらうと、あっと驚く展開が待っています。ロト三部作となる3と1と2、どちらもぜひ楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。どうも、ホリユーズでした。What's on this man's shirt, bro? Thank you, Mr. Hori. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy, now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. Let's have the fun in Funko. There's no way they're about to release a Funko Pop game. Say hello to Jaws. Wait, He Man? Great Scott, is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons Dang, it's almost like it's just like Galactica. Legos, bruh. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch September 13th. See, okay, the verbiage that they're using is kind of weird because for some games, they're saying Nintendo Switch and some games are saying Nintendo Systems. So, like, what's up with that? Like, they're saying Nintendo System for some games is Nintendo Switch for others. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps. And other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo. So they definitely have a new system. Meet a quirky little Dempa man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like, and more. <sighs> Plus, up to four players. I don't know if I'm gonna put this up. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. A free to play game on on the Switch is crazy. Installment of the Metal Slug series. 
I'm gonna be honest. I don't even remember the last time I used my Switch. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I used my Switch, bruh. That's the crazy part. I mean, I gotta charge it now. I don't even remember the last time I used my Switch, bro. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. I think the last game I played on there was like Embark on an Expedition of the Dam in the Mario Maker sequel to the Gothic roguelike RPG. Oh no, that's a lie. It was a No More Hills 3, but I think the King landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. I may just not I I may I may I may just not be launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. I may I may just be Nintendo out. I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know. More classic titles. It is not releasing games like how they used to, like games that I want to play, right? Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. I mean, that's cool. Experience the Metroid. remake of Samus' first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Fun fact, I've never played a Metro go game plus, in my life. Coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Oh, wait, what? Turok? Brave the dangerous lost land to Wait, stop the hold campaigner's on. nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Wait a second. And. Perfect Dark? Infiltrate oh. a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in. Are they doing this Perfect because the. Now with online multiplayer. What? Are they doing this because of the be because of the new uh, the new game that's coming out for this? Later today. Oh, okay. Set sail to save the day. I wonder if the next console they're gonna start releasing more like Verona, like mature rated games. Because I get that the Switch is more dedicated for you know ch children, so they don't have like any like mature titles. But I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna start releasing more mature in this new installment in the phantom titles series. on the switch because because the nintendo got some mature titles man take on tactical turn-based battles where you combine the phantoms you befriended with objects like, you know what i'm saying ways. like i get that it's for the kitty kiddos and stuff you know what i'm saying like but like certain objects to maneuver them there's awesome you know Combined with a cannon to attack a large area. If him? A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mm. This one's going to oh. take you for a ride. Okay. Capcom, okay. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are okay. putting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Okay. Flash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke oh, MV2. Okay. Okay. Down the Kingpin in the beat em up side The Punisher. The Punisher and more. I didn't even know the Punisher had its own game. Okay, MV2. MV2 polish your fighting skills and combos. MVC2 online mode to challenge rivals. Oh, they got an online mode? Oh wait, that's gonna be compy. MVC2, okay. That's gonna be compy. I don't know if it's enough for me to be able to get the, game. Game. the collection, but Marvel versus Capcom I want to take you for our Launches on Nintendo Switch. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually no, that's actually good. That's this is actually good news. NBC two with an online mode. The you know, game in the Mario Party series. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. That's actually kind of good. Resort. All right. To jump into the okay. Of Mario Party First good news. Super Mario Party Jamboree. 
Super First, Mario let's Party see some Jamboree. Of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors. What? What's the last Mario, Mario Party that they released? In -game coins to get a star I swear a lot of people did not like that. Sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40. I don't even remember the last Mario roll. Party I played. I think I've Here only ever played one view. Mario Party ever in my the life. Of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Yeah, this. Some yeah. mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. What? Compete okay, that's gonna be hectic. And aim for first place. Try your best to come out. Boy, do you know how long those games are gonna be? A regular Mario Party is like a like a uh, like an hour plus. Mario Party yet. We'll Thir <laughs> Bro, 50 when the up to 20 Mario players Party is crazy. Game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. 20 plus players? That was the latest installment in the Mario You know how Party long series. those games is going to be? Super Mario oh Party no, hell no. Nah. With new boards. Mini no, games, that game those games going to be two and a half hours long minimum. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now... It's kind of weird that they're releasing it towards this. the tail end of the Switch era. What is this? Okay, Zelda again. Is this an HD remake of... The OG? I'm confused. They just showed. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be quiet. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty. Sure they just. Oh, this is actually like a Zelda Zelda game. Ain't this like Echoes of Wisdom? I don't remember if this is already if this is Hello everyone. I'm AG Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. AG Aonuma. What you just saw was the latest installment. The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, to it's now Zelda gotta Zelda save Link. To step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. Right. To explain more, please take a look at this video. I will say this, that the good thing about Nintendo Directs is that they get just straight to the point. They don't, you know what I mean? We not dilly-dallying. They're going to show us a bunch of big games, but they're going to at least get straight to the point. Like other, alone, other like other companies. Meets the fairy, Try. Receives a mysterious staff Try? called the Try Rod. And Try sets me. off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, tri rod Zelda had to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. Wow, table stacker simulator. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. 
How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. <sighs> Even battles will look different. I guess, man. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also so this woman can she can monsters. she can she can throw rocks, After but she can't so, get out of a get out side. of one. All right. Monsters have different abilities, so All choose right. the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key after all. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. Yeah, because you probably haven't played the whole game. You know, enemies will change depending on the echoes. I'm trying not to be negative, but we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda echoes. I love I love Zelda games, but like, who is playing this? A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. Oh wow! We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I Okay, but why y'all releasing this now? When there's supposed to be a Switch 2. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. All right, show me something, man. Let loose and party on. Uh... We're never getting rid of this series. <laughs> oh my God, man. I might have to make, I might have to do the Just Dance stream, bro, for the one time, bro. Cause at this point, I'm, I'm convinced I'm convinced they are like, you know what? Just Dance is literally making us that much money. We got to keep on bringing it back every year. I can dance. Y'all know that. I might as well, bruh. I got to convert, bruh, because I just don't understand it. They have an act. They got a dance, J Just Dance Plus. You know what? You got it, bruh. A new Lego adventure is on the oh horizon. Oh Lord, we already seen this, bro. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Also, why are they promoting this? Is a Sony. Into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall this is a Sony IP. Why the heck is Nintendo pushing by the original this game. game? But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. I mean, if I'm Nintendo, I'm not pushing no Lego-centric Sony IP game, bro. From the nimble watchers. I mean, a Sony-centric Lego I Lego game, bro. I'm not doing that, bro. They don't have no Horizon games on the Switch or Nintendo. Why the heck are they? Why is this coming to the Switch? Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Man, can y'all just bring back Extreme Lego Island, bro? Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch. Can y'all just bring holiday. back Extreme Island, bro? HD. I would be perfectly A happy with that. Journey begins. Oh, man. I still got to play this game, though. A lot of people I saw play this game. They said they enjoyed it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of cats, but, you know. I heard this game is pretty compy. It's an interesting game. You get to play as a cat. This is like, you know, not a big fan of them, but oh my God, this looks nasty. 
experience a decaying cyber city. Now, why the, the heck would I play Stray on the Switch if I could just play it Explore on, on a PlayStation 5? Look at these graphics, home. bro. Carefully climb to the highest heights. What are these graphics, new man? Paths for yourself and stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Nintendo loves to be behind our graphics, but ahead on the, on Careful, games. Bro. Not everyone is excited. And when I mean ahead on games, around, I mean like they just put out more games. Hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Mm -mm. Welcome home, Hobbit. Oh, God. If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Maybe it was a good thing Customize I missed this direct, bro. Decorate your home and settle into Maybe it's a good thing shire. I missed this direct because to the little haven of Bywater, it's crazy that the only thing I got excited for was the MVC two and even being brought to the switch or with three. the online mode. Explore, garden, fish, I think that's the closest forest, thing we're gonna ever get to MVC the best anyway. Way to build so a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Because I'm not gonna lie, Plus, a lot of these games you can trade looking, with your neighbors for unique yeah. decorations or special ingredients for even tasty They follow the same pattern. New Mario game, something Zelda related, and then let's bring out back some classic games and then put a bunch of mid games in between. Like, come on, bro. It's the same formula. Investigate, interrogate, oh, checkmate. Now we gotta. I mean, shout out Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased. Not my, not my, not my thing. Personally, not a fan of this. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence, then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Yeah, the power of logic. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the I'm sorry, but who was out here playing a whole game music, of including you know what? I got it, man. and more? Past and present. I might be just a I might be just a Geo dude. At any cost. A Giga Geo dude. <laughs> a Giga Geo Chad. I don't know. Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Like Capcom, like come on, bro. Y'all know what to release, bro. Y'all know what to release. Is this Persona? Oh no, this is a. Uh... Is this a uh, Spike game? Oh lord. I'm really starting to feel like I just haven't played enough games. I think I'm. I think I'm starting to realize I haven't played enough games. After a devastating attack or I guess assailants. different types of games Kumi Samino's life gets turned upside down a mysterious school mascot suddenly appears man we got Danganronpa While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way or what is it Rainco to enroll at the last defense Academy last defense Academy other students <laughs> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Oh, it's like a, uh, it's like a RTS Academy type of game. Secrecy. Mixed with and their the usual, okay. I have never played any of these types of like games from that, from this man. And despair, and I never played Danganronpa or Raincoat or any of these types of, of games. It's just not my type of game personally. Line, last defense Academy, I like the art style. Switch, I like the art style, year. but it's like I can't, I can't play games like this because they're just boring to me. Embark on a saga spanning generations. Mm, generational saga. Generational trauma. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Never heard of it. I know somebody out there being like, yes! Yes, finally! About time! I want that, bro. I'll be hating. I'll be jealous, bro. But it's like, I really want that, bro. 
I really want that feeling. I never got that feeling to see like a game that I want. You know? I know I sound crazy, but it's like, dang, bro, like, I just want to experience one time, just be a game that I like. The last time that happened was like Armor Core, and I still have not seen Armor Core. I still have not played Armor Core yet. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. I just, like, I just want your empire. I just want to see and some that I want to play, bro, that I'm willing to spin a bag on, bro. I don't even care if anybody else hasn't played it, bro. It's like, you know, give me Safe Mad World HD, bro, future. something, bro. Protect your legacy from I can't I can't play the game anymore now, so it's like, seven heroes may emerge I just want at least an HD remake or something, bro. Like, you know? Romancing Saga Beautiful Joe, something, bro. Seven. Just give me something. Oh, please. He's a 24. Ah, dang, man. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm going to be honest, I might not upload this. Announcement. Please take a look. What is this? Cosmic Gear 20X Galaxy Federation Research Facility. Uh, is this uh, Metroid? Uh, okay. I'm guessing this is Metro Prime? Yeah. Yeah, I know everybody named Mama went crazy for this. I never played Metroid, so I have I have no affiliations with this, so it's not gonna hit me at all. I never played any of the Metro Prime. I never played any of the Metro Prime games, so you know. But congratulations to the Metro Prime fans, though. You know. <laughs> I know somebody like, bro, how you not excited? Never. Never played the games, bro. I never played the games. And I'm not gonna lie, this is not look it's not look look enticing to me personally. The graphics is kinda ruining it, bro. Metro Prime 4. Beyond. I mean I ain't gonna lie, that like the screen looks fire. Like the little title card looks fire. It's just like the game looks kind of like, I don't know. Like graphics wise, like it's a beautiful game. Don't get twisted. 2025. Graphics are like, like visually it looks good, but like graphics wise, it looks kind of like, eh. That All right. Is first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope I you guess. are looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. All right. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure this is good for all the Metroid fans. Um, you know, me personally, I think this was mid. I think the only thing that I really look like that, that I like that looks like it's going to be good is the MVC 2. MVC 2 uh, being, I guess, ported back to the Switch. And, you know, they got an online mode. So that's cool. I like that. Other than that, I don't really care for Metroid Prime 4. Uh, never played any of the Metroid Prime series. Uh, and the rest of these games were a bunch of mid. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to be worth for me to even to upload this. I mean, it's 43 minutes. You know, whatever. Um, Honestly, if I'm going to keep it a buck, bro, like, Nintendo, I'm going to need y'all to, like, put some more, like, mature titles or something. Put some more mature titles on, you know? Something, bro, like. 
something. Something, bro. Or some games that, you know, some 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 unique fun games or something, bro. Like I feel like they releasing the same games every like year. But these every direct that they do, like they they release the same games. Literally. Like it's the same formula. Mario game, random tomfoolery, one game that maybe people will look interested in, then Zelda game. Or not or a Zelda, you know, HD remake, you know, some other tomfoolery. And then after that, it's going to be one game that, like, you know, one group of people going to like, but, you know, ain't nobody going to really care, bro. And then this is something to update the uh, the damn Switch shop, bro. No, no Switch 2. Um, also, when are they going to bring the GameCube to the uh, the little Nintendo thing, bro? When are they going to do that? Because I need them to do that. Because uh, why haven't y'all did that yet? <laughs> like. At least if y'all saving it for a Switch 2, like, it's about time y'all bring the Nintendo uh, GameCube library to y'all Switch, bro. Like, that's what everybody wants. Let's just be real. That's what everybody wants. About time y'all bring that back, bro. But other than that, I mean, yeah, mid Switch, uh, mid, uh, mid, mid, uh, Nintendo event. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, for me personally, may not be for y'all, but for me it was pretty mid. But you know, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Uh, come through on the Twitch and all the other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Goodbye, Nintendo. Please bring out just some, make some better games, bro.